Hey guys, hope you are doing well. And today we've got a replay for you in the STRV 103B, the Swedish tier 10 tank destroyer. And we are on fjords. Of course, we're on a Nordic map in Scandinavia, appropriate for this vehicle. And I picked this thing up recently and let's just say I really like it. Uh, it's probably, well, it has got the best gun in World of Tanks. This 105mm has got incredible DPM. It's got the highest base penetration, basically, of any tank in the game, with over 300mm. The shell velocity is insane, and the armor can work in certain situations. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, you got to keep the opponents you're engaging Basically, you've got to make sure that the caliber of their gun is under the 122 millimeter barrier. So basically, don't engage stuff that's Russian and you'll be fine. So you'll be absolutely fine against stuff like Super Conks, E5s, uh, the French heavies as well, as long as the single shot ones are not using their large caliber guns and you'll be absolutely fine and you can tear them apart so quickly this game has hardly started i'm already at over 2k damage and the strv line is quite controversial in this game because they are so goddamn campy it's a very odd line from like tier 4 to tier 7 you've got these kind of crappy platforms with decent guns overall they're not really good tanks when you get the tier 8 udes which is the first one with the siege mechanic and the siege mechanic is so clunky on that tank that it's really difficult to be aggressive with it as well as having absolutely zero armor literally everything you will meet in the udes will uh go through you and then you got the tier 9 and the tier 9 is a it's a middle ground between the tier 8 and the tier 10 of course and you could be a lot more aggressive but you can't it's still a really campy tank the tier 10 uh introduces this heat shield which actually does help you quite a lot you can see it on the on the front of this tank uh but the way i like to play the tier 10 is that uh, I like to support my mediums, so I like to roll with them, and I like to be aggressive with them as well. No way would I be uh, camping on that uh, peninsula down south. I think that's no way to play an STRV. Supporting your mediums, absolutely ripping apart uh, whatever they come across with them. And that DPM is scary, man. It's over 3k DPM. And this gun is absolutely insane, even though that shot was absolutely appalling for me. And that one as well. Can we... Are we going to get lucky third time? Yeah. Notice how I haven't really fired a lot of premium rounds this game. It's just not necessary. We're going straight through this Jaeger Ukapola. And that's a tank to watch out for because he is so dangerous to this thing. I'll find artillery and I'll immediately like, SHOOT IT! because artillery and I'm thinking at this point right team's got the uh, Yegru it's time to uh, push on these Russian heavies now one thing to remember these Russian heavies basically don't have to aim all they have to do is hit and the thing is about the 703 the, this double barrel premium tank is that the turret is pathetic on it <laughs> Um, especially with um, 300 millimeters of pen this thing has got quite bad armor for 250 let alone 300 so I've deployed the crutches you could say and slowly moving up and I'm re ready to tear apart these these uh, this platoon of Russian heavy tanks uh, I don't know why this guy is aiming so much. Maybe he's reloading and he somehow crits me. Well done, dudes. And I go straight through his gun mantlet with standard rounds as well, I like to add. 
And yeah, I suppose this is bullying, but both of them have just penned me. And Zav just bounced. Really nice play there. So yeah, the STRV. God knows what it's going to be like with um, the uh, equipment rework, which is today in fact. I still yet to... Uh, download the patch because I'm busy trying to save my replays I've still got a couple left and I decided to uh, get this one uploaded and that is right this game's over and I, I want this 50 TP guys don't camp in your STRVs this is how to play it we're up to uh, six and a half K damage I think the result speaks for itself I'm trying to get the crutches deployed and just enough time to uh, steal the kill and that's a really nice victory we've got four kills 6.8k da k damage managed to pick up my first ace tanker in this thing and i believe this was first win of the day so that's the why we've got 170k credits managed to pick up 1112 experience which isn't very high for an ace tanker in this thing i think this is when the requirements were very low and look at that hit ratio very impressive indeed so guys i hope you enjoyed today's replay give it a like give a channel a sub if you want and i'll see you on the next one